Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to be downloading a material from Polygon.com, bringing it into 3ds Max using our material converter, and then finally rendering it out with Corona. Before we get started though, let's take a look at the material that we're going to be using in this tutorial. Uh, it's Wood Flooring 044, it's one of our free materials. Um, I've downloaded the 4K version of the, uh, of the material already, um, and another file we'll be needing is the material converter add-on for 3ds Max. Um, this I also have saved. So let's head over to Max and get started. Now the first thing we need to do is install our material converter. I've already got it installed, the button for it's right there next to my material editor, um, but let's walk you through the process of doing it yourself. So this is the zip file that's been downloaded from our website. Uh, inside is a couple of files. Uh, the one we need to pay attention to at the moment is the, the installation file itself, this one here. So if I drag that into the viewport, We'll uh, get a little installation message come up here just to let you know that it's been installed correctly, and then you can just click OK on that. After that, all we need to do is add in the uh, the, the, the button for it, basically. Uh, and to do that, you go to Customize, Customize User Interface, head over to uh, Toolbars, under the Category section, just uh, select Polygon, and then We'll, you'll have the polygon button here which you can drag anywhere you want it to be. I put it next to my material editor because that seemed to make sense. And uh, that's it, that's the, uh, that's the converter installed. Now let's move on to usage. In fact before I do that I'll just quickly uh, point out this, the scene that we've got here. It's a very basic scene, literally just a camera and a floor and it's also got a HDR uh, environment map for lighting. Uh, and that's the, that's the scene we'll be working with today. So now it's time to bring in our material. So we'll click on the converter. Um, and then the first option here is the textures folder. This is where you would choose where the converter needs to look to find the materials that you've downloaded. Now I've got a master kind of materials folder here with all of my downloaded materials in it. Um, and you could just select that folder and it would import all of them at once. And then you could, uh, from the library within the material editor to drag them in and assign them as needed. But what I'm going to do here is just bring in the one that we need today, which is the wood flooring one. So with that folder selected, we now have to choose the renderer. By default, the converter will automatically fill that in for you. If your scene's set up for Corona, like mine is, um, it's automatically selected Corona. But if for whatever reason you need to change it, the other options are there. And then we've got some advanced options underneath. And they're all... Uh, fine by default. Um, it will use 16-bit maps where available um, and yeah, yeah, we're good to go. So I'll hit convert and it will say all materials loaded uh, successfully. Hit OK on that and that's it. That the, We're done with the converter. Our material has been brought into our scene. So if I now click on the material editor like so. Ooh, what's it doing? Go away. Thank you. <laughs> What the converter's done is create this temporary library and this is where all your materials would be listed. Since I just brought in the one, that's the only one we've got there. And I'm gonna drag that into our node view so we can take a look at what it's done. As you can see, it's set up a standard Corona material and brought in the color, reflection, gloss, normal, well, normal, <laughs> and displacement maps. Um, all, all ready to go, which is great. All that's left now is to click on our floor plane right mouse button on the material and then hit assign material to selection. Um, if we look in the viewport now you can see the wooden floor has been placed nicely uh, and we're pretty much good to go. So what I'll do is hit the render button and this will bring up Corona's uh, rendering view. Give it a second to wake up and we can see that it's brought in the material which is great. One thing we do need to adjust though is the gloss map. Uh, different uh, renderers will have slightly different implementations of PBR, um, so sometimes some minor adjustments do need to be made. And in this case, the uh, gloss map isn't quite glossy enough. Our texture is looking just a little bit too rough compared to the, the shiny wooden floor in the preview images uh, on our website. And we, we want to try and adjust that. So let me just turn on um, the permanent rendering. So as we make, as we make changes, this will now update. And I'm just going to create a little bit of room here because we want to adjust this, this gloss map here. Now, thankfully, um, with Corona, it's literally just, a, just the one node, basically. 
and that is a Corona mix node. So with that in place, I'm going to drop the gloss map into the top input and then drop the mix into the reflection gloss. There we go. And if I double click on this map, it will give us some options. I'm just going to name this gloss as well, just so we know that, just so we can keep track of what our nodes are doing. And then you've got some various operators. Now, what we're going to do is set this to screen, like so. And now, um, when we adjust this, this base layer, this black input color, um, we'll be able to affect the input or the, sorry, the effect that the gloss is having or the gloss map is having on our finished material. Um, on the default color of black, it will be exactly as it is without even having that node. And if we move it all the way up to white, it's it's a hundred percent glossy, basically like not having a gloss map at all. Now, now what we want though is kind of the middle ground. So let's take this down to kind of a 40, 40, 40, 35 percent gray sort of area. Hit OK. Give this a second to clear up. And now you can see we're getting the, the nice sort of shiny wooden floor look that we might need, which uh, we, which is good. So with all that done, let's just hit stop for a second. I'm going to go into our settings here and just run a final render so we can make sure that our material is looking exactly the way we want it to. I'll pause the recording while this is running. OK, so the, uh, the render's finished and it's looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think I'd adjust that at all. Um, yeah, good render. So in summary, we've downloaded a material from polygon.com, brought it into 3ds Max using our material converter, made a slight adjustment to the gloss map, and then rendered it out in Corona.